In this tutorial, we are going to solve a quadratic inequalities. It is a complex quadratic inequalities. That means second grade fractional inequalities. Let's write it x squared minus twice x divided by x squared minus one less than zero. This inequalities has two expression or two quadratic equation. Number one is x squared minus 2x which is called numerator expressed by n and number two x squared minus one which is called denominator d. So we already know from my first tutorial on inequalities that if a expression a is divided by b less than zero then these inequalities only valid if the sign of a and b are opposite that means if a is a negative then b must be positive then the quotient or a divided by b will be negative which is less than zero other cases if a is positive and b is negative that case also will give us negative which is less than zero except these two cases if the sign is same like plus for both cases or minus for both cases this expression cannot be valid because we'll get a positive results which is obviously greater than zero so this kind of problem seems complex but if you can successfully analyze the sign then it's very very easy let's find out how to solve it so whatever the inequalities is to analyze the sign we have to consider numerator is greater than zero and denominator greater than zero actually for understanding the sign we are considering it this is not actual but we are considering n greater than zero and d greater than zero so n is x square minus 2x and d is x square minus 1 which is also greater than 0 okay so for x square minus 2x if we want to find the d the discriminant in this case let's use delta because we already have a d for denominator so delta is b square minus 2 whole square minus 4 a and c is 0 so d delta is 4 which is greater than 0 therefore delta is greater than 0 now let's find out the root so whenever c is 0 it's easy to find the root we can simply common the variable x from two terms like both term then here remains x minus 2 and let's consider this quadratic equation equal to 0 then we can find x equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0 then it give us x equal to so our root x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 2 so we know the root now from the table we know if discriminant or delta I use delta over there so don't confuse with the D and delta they are the same so if discriminant is greater than 0 our case it was 4 and the equation was quadratic equation greater than 0 therefore our correct option is this one uh, these are the solution for that quadratic equation this way we can write okay so our n was x square minus 2x greater than 0 I'll forget to write here so 0 in that case the solution for this quadratic equation is x less than 0 and x greater than 2 so we find solution for this expression numerator now we we'll, we have to find out the solution for denominator so our denominator is x square minus 1 and we consider x square minus 1 greater than 0 so to find out the root of it well, let's find out first d because it's important to find out the solution so if d greater than 0 then we can simply say the solution so d is b square minus 4 a excuse me here b is 0 so b square minus 4 a and c is negative 1 so it gives us positive 4 so it's still uh, d sorry delta not d don't be confused let me remove it because we already use d here so delta greater than uh, 0 therefore the solution for this is the similar 
with our uh, numerator solution but first of all we have to find out the root let's consider x square minus 1 equal to 0 we can use directly quadratic equation quadratic formula to find out but it seems easy to find this way therefore I am doing this x plus 1 and x minus 1 equal to 0 this is simply a square minus b square formula those of you who forgot I'm writing it a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b this is an algebraic formula so i use that formula to simplify that quadratic equation now here we can write x plus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0 so this gives us negative 1 and this gives us positive 1 so we found two root so x1 is negative 1 which is smaller than x2 and x2 is 1 therefore for this case our solution according to the table we already discussed in our previous uh, lecture uh, x is smaller like a smaller root and x is greater than the larger root so these are the solution so we'll find numerator greater than 0 for this condition and we'll find denominator greater than 0 for this condition okay let's write the equation once again x square minus 2x divided by x square minus 1 less than 0 this was our expression now let's draw line let's say this is 0 and so when numerator greater than 0 for what condition when a x less than 0 so we can write this way we can draw a line here this is a line indicating 0 so less than 0 then we can draw the line this way so remember let's say this is negative 1 this is 0 and this is po positive 1 and we can remove 0 from here for better visualization so also we'll get positive numerator for x greater than 2 okay so this is 2 let's make it little longer so let's draw a line here and of course this is not a filled circle a open circle for these two conditions numerator is greater than zero so we can simply say this range represents positivity of numerator this range also represents positivity of numerator so where i mean in which range numerator represents negativity in this range so let's represent a negativity by highlighting this range by dotted line so from now dotted line represents negativity and solid lines represents positivity for our second expression which was x square minus 1 greater than 0 we find out the solution x less than minus 1 and x greater than minus 1 so x less than minus 1 means let's uh, draw the line longer if x less than minus 1 then it means from this point to more negative so of course it is a open circle and x greater than 1 so let's draw another line from here x greater than from here so any value within this range will get a positive denominator and let me write it here denominator is positive within this range and also this range so denominator will be negative only within this range so let's highlight again that range by a dotted line now tell me this is positive this also positive that means numerate both are positives right so we can write this area is positive both are positive this area numerator is positive denominator is negative therefore we'll find negative the final value or quotient will be negative here so let's write negative let's relate with a divided by b less than zero then it would be easier for understand we are looking for sign which are not same for both cases for a and b once again this area both numerator and denominator is negative therefore the sign of quotient will be positive how about this area again the numerator is negative and denominator is positive therefore we can write negative and for this case again positive now tell me this is our final quadratic inequalities and we have to find out the solution for this so to find out the solution we need to confirm that numerator and denominator cannot be same sign so which range holds that 
this range and this range other all other ranges all other numbers gives us same sign either positive or either negative therefore our solution holds this range and this range how we can write that it's very simple to express this range let's write it the lowest value here is negative one so we can write let's write it here negative one less than x and zero and to write this range this represents this range and to write this range we can write the smallest is positive one x and less than so these two range are the answer now if we wanna represents if you wanna present this on the graph then we can do it this way this is zero minus one last one minus one one and this is two so our final answer represents this range let me change the color minus one to zero and one to two also if you want you can write the answer using the uh, set function like x belongs to minus one to zero and one to two so this is our answer sorry not and union so dear students i hope you understand the lecture it was little complex but if you understand then it's super easy and if you think too many things to do here actually that's not true because we discussed it in details so some of the topic some of the theory we discussed here that is why you may think oh it takes a lot of time but in real exam i do not have time so how to solve them but don't worry if you are skilled to do that you don't need to do all of this calculation it's very easy to find out just you know like this graphical presentation of sign analysis is the important part of this math so if you just consider on these then it's gonna be a matter of one on one or two minutes to solve this kind of problems so let me know in comment section if you have any questions i will love to answer and help you further so see you in our next tutorials